Hello Soul Tribe, welcome to Intuitive Inspirations. Today I'll be talking about why you cannot manifest or why you may be having trouble manifesting something in particular. For me, I have been trying to manifest going to a specific location since July, so it's been a while. And this is the first time that I've had issues manifesting going somewhere. I was a bit confused at first why nothing was happening despite my efforts. And I thought something was wrong, like perhaps it's not meant for me to go, that's why. But I don't think that's the reason. But I think I know what the reason is why I haven't manifested this yet. And one of the reasons is that there are some changes I need to make within myself first. So this subject had been heavily on my mind and synchronistically Eckhart Tolle made a great video yesterday about why something may not be manifesting. And I'll link that video in the description below. He even used an example of the exact same thing I did. So today I'll discuss my experience of the time I decided to move to Hawaii and why I thought it would bring me happiness but in the end things didn't turn out how I imagined. And you know why? It's because no matter where we go, we take ourselves with us. John Kabat-Zinn also wrote a great book on the same topic as well, entitled, Wherever You Go, There You Are. So if you're interested, you can look into that book as well. I'm including my hike at Manoa Falls as the backdrop of this story. This was taken during the time I moved to Hawaii. And Hawaii is absolutely beautiful, and there will always be a place in my heart for the islands of Hawaii. So the story starts, it was winter and I had just left California. I spent some time in Virginia Beach taking psychic development classes and then I stayed at my parents house over the holidays and I worked a little bit and when it came time I decided I wanted to move to Hawaii. So once my job contract was over I hopped on the plane and it was a long ride. I had a connecting flight in Orlando, then I flew from Orlando to San Francisco, and then from San Francisco to Honolulu the following day. Once in Honolulu, I got a rental car, went shopping to get all the things I needed, and then went to check in at the place that I was staying at in Waikiki. It was so beautiful, but I was starting to not feel very well, probably because going from such a cold climate to a warm climate. But anyway, over the course of the first week, I got really sick. I stayed in bed most of the time and this was definitely not a great start in paradise. Once I got better, I started going out. I mostly hung out at the beach. I even went to a luau. I also drove around a bit. I went up to North Shore, it was beautiful. You know, and driving is one of my favorite things to do, just driving for leisure. After a while, I wanted some peace and quiet. There were just way too many people in Waikiki, so I decided to go somewhere else. And I loved Kailua, and it was so beautiful when I went in 2014, so I decided to go and chill in Kailua for a bit. And so I booked an Airbnb and went to Kailua. I spent my days going to Kailua Beach Park and Lanakai Beach. And then I started to get bored. Plus it was a bit expensive staying in Kailua, so I found a cheaper apartment in Manoa. So I went back to Manoa. And this hike was actually taken before I went to Kailua. I stopped off in Manoa one day after grabbing some lunch because I had about four hours before checking in that Airbnb. So I was on the phone with my sister and she was suggesting like, hey, you could take that hike, Manoa Falls. And I was like, oh, that'll be nice, sure. So that's what I did, and it was a really nice hike. So when I got to Manoa, I stayed near the UH campus, and it was really convenient there. I could just walk and go get food there, and whatever else I really needed. So I decided to return my rental car, and I opted to take the bus when I needed to go somewhere a little bit further. And this allowed me to save some money, and you know, even when by bus, it was a quick bus ride down to like the Ala Moana Center if I wanted to go there to eat or to shop. So it was okay. And then some time passed and the rain started. 
and it was no ordinary rain. So there were only a few moments where I could go out and do what I needed without getting drenched at this point. So if you're thinking of going to Hawaii in the winter, just be advised that it's rainy season. I didn't realize that. I should have done my research. I spent a lot of time indoors. It was really hot and muggy in the apartment that I was in because there was no AC. Um, luckily there was a fan, but I would have to close my windows when it rained a lot because it was like a monsoon. The rain would just come into through the window and would make everything wet. So after a while I decided to go back to the mainland. So the point of the story is that no place, no person, actually nothing can really make us happy. We may get temporary happiness, but that always fades away eventually. We must be happiness and embody that feeling of our desires as if we already received it. And paradoxically, when we're happy with what is and we're fine with or without our desires, is a time that we actually receive our desires, quote unquote, as an add-on to our current experience. So back to the location that I was mentioning at the beginning of this video. I know that I'll eventually get to go to this place that I'm manifesting. I don't know exactly when or how, but I just have this gut feeling and I have a knowing that I will. Because I've been getting signs about this place since September of 2017. And back then I had no desire to go to this location at all. Plus, I didn't know anyone there either. And since the end of last year, the synchronicities regarding this place have been quite a lot. So it made me question why this place kept coming up too in my mind. I would have conversations with friends and they would mention this place. And I was even supposed to actually go to this place in January, but my plans got changed at the last minute and I ended up going somewhere else. Also, I was on my way home from Vegas in August and there were more synchronicities regarding this place too. So there are two major airports near this location. One of them is in the exact same city where my um, location is. And when I was walking around the terminal at the airport, I saw flight information to that city and it said that the plane was supposed to take off at the time that was the same numbers as the area code that I was going to be flying to. So that was really interesting. However, that flight was delayed. Also, when I got up to my gate, the gate across from me was for the other location near where I wanted to go and it's roughly the same amount of time you know even though this airports in a different city and that flight was also delayed so the universe was very clear in letting me know that things are on hold for now and it'll happen when it's meant to happen <laughs> but the most important thing for me right now is to be present and if it manifests it'll be like icing on the cake as Eckhart Tolle put it so thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.